expect. No, this is the Locarno room where the Treaty of Locarno was signed. Oh, this is the place. That's okay. right. This is a very famous room. Yes. Dealing effectively with war crimes is an urgent moral and political requirement. And we are strengthening the International Criminal Tribunal, enhancing information sharing and information gathering so the tribunal has its own ability to identify the location and the circumstances of alleged war criminals, and that we hope will lead to improved opportunities for apprehension. The Council charges the steering board to consider what further measures can be taken to facilitate the delivery of inductees or persons indicted to the tribunal for trial. Uh, if you try to interpret that, the interpretation is, of course, that if things don't happen by themselves, then the steering board, this is the first time this has been said, will consider what measures can be taken. I hope so. I'm still missing my spokesman. I would hope, uh, anyhow, that also the international community today makes clear to the authorities who it may uh, concern that further action will be sought for if they do not take their own responsibilities. With regards to conditionality, are they going to be very strict, objective? I wouldn't say we're talking about force. I think we're talking about the responsibility of the authorities in the area to do what they committed themselves to in the Dayton Agreement, which is, as you say, to bring those indicted for war crimes to The Hague to be tried there.